Hello everyone, today I wanted to make a very quick tutorial about uh, Art of Illusion uh, and specifically I wanted to go in uh, to bad geometry so I would like to uh, show you this uh, this is a model uh, someone sent me and he wanted, uh, he wanted to print this and I'll show you now what I mean with bad geometry this, uh, he made this in Art of Illusion using uh, booleans about six billions in total or something and as you can see this is a very black area and it's, it's all all those edges uh, very close together and that's really not necessary for a model that's this simple really so that's one thing that's uh, that uh, that's that you could co consider uh, as bad geometry but uh, for uh, 3D printing purposes, that's uh, that's okay. However, when I open this, and I'm opening it now in uh, the Polymesh editor, as you can see here again, this is very, very, how do you say it, messy, very messy part. Uh, but what was worrying about, uh, worrying me about this is when I go to edge mode and um, select boundaries. You can see that it actually selects boundaries, and that's uh, not a good sign because you want it to be solid. And Art Evolution is uh, basically saying that it's not solid. And also, when I move this, the boundary, it's going really slow. You can see that the mesh is just, just totally fucked up here. So, well, basically. Um, the best thing to do to fix this is just to start over from scratch and the good thing is that's, that this is not very hard, it's a very simple model so I'm just going to um, show you real quick how I would go about uh, uh, remaking this from scratch so I hope you understand that uh, uh, often the boolean tool is not uh, a very good way to go if you have um, access to the polymesh tool because that's way better all right so let's uh, uh, start by uh, dragging a cube and don't worry about it too much uh, about the dimensions because uh, we are going to uh, edit it anyway so let's uh, rename this as um, well, I don't really need to rename it, but uh, part body mesh. So what I'm basically going to do is open it. All right. So what I um, what I what I'm go going to do is uh, tra uh, trace the outline, uh, so to speak, of the original model. So what I do is I go to View, um, Show, and Entire Scene. And this uh, let let me. Uh, uh, be able to uh, see the, the whole scene so I can um, trace the outlines of the model so I'm just going to very quickly go through this um, all the um, shortcuts and uh, tools that I'm using now I already uh, uh, discussed in previous tutorials so uh, if this all goes a little bit too fast for you I, I, I'll advise you to uh, and go back and see them. Just going to align this. Right. Extrusion. And you'll you'll notice that I don't really pay much attention attention to how far the extrusion goes because I like to use the move tool to adjust it uh, with more accuracy. Again here I just I don't worry about it because I do it like this looks much better all right now for the extension here let's divide uh, these two lines and I, yeah, I used here the tolerance life selection mode to select these two as you can see they're both already aligned to the uh, the mesh here let's extrude this again here just 
captured. All right, almost done. Like this. All right. Um, so now for the holes. Um, of course, this is a round hole, and uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit different. Oh wait, I've got uh, to adjust the, uh, this dimension. As you can see, this is not aligned very well. to do holes. What I always do to make holes in the polymers editor and there are uh, probably multiple ways of uh, achieving what you want to achieve but what I like to do is make a bevel inward by holding shift. Let's go to the left, to left view and scale it a bit and I'm, I'm going to make a square that as it's uh, corners precisely on this uh, circle and I'm now tracing the outline of the uh, original object but if you if you just want to make a round hole in, a, in your object you can use this move tool thing to uh, use as a perfect circle to uh, align the points on and uh, one, one good thing to know is that if you press control and scale this you can uh, scale the tool so that's uh, handy for this sort of thing. All right, so these points are are well, good enough aligned, uh, in my opinion. So I'm going to select these edges now, and you'll notice that the back um, edges on the other side are also selected because we uh, I I want to do both sides at the same time, so they they both have the same. Uh, shape and uh, stuff. So I'm going to divide it by two, and then scale it out on the z-axis and also on the y-axis to align on the on the circle again. And it looks kind of more like a circle right now, but I'm still not happy enough. So I'm going to uh, do the same procedure again. And if you're using math, uh, mesh smoothness, then is uh, probably uh, not even necessary to do this next step because the mesh, mesh, mesh smoothness uh, takes care of uh, making it smooth. All right. Um, uh, this mm, may be a little bit more difficult because um, these points are not aligned uh, on solely one uh, axis, like for instance x or y axis. So have to fiddle around with it a little bit and you can also use like with um, shift pressed so that it scales in all directions but then it also scales in the x axis and you get stuff like this going on but you can correct it by uh, getting uh, I'm just going to show you that now uh, getting the x coordinate of this point like the point the the x value that you want for all these points you can get it by control e it's also found in uh, vertex and some something like uh, edit points um, you can find the x coordinate copy it go to all the points edit again and voila you will have them all on the same uh, x value so let's do that again for this side um, where are you? Yeah. I want this x value for all these points so oh. there you go okay now for cutting the hole I select these two faces and I'm going to, to delete them and now you have an open mesh which is generally bad you, want, you don't want it because it uh, it's now hollow as you can see. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, select two points and do basically the same procedure as with the milk jug tutorial that I did. 
I'm going to join the boundaries and that joins this open edge with this open edge with new faces so it's going to look like this oh and I lost it yeah there it is so as you can see now if I select OK I'm just going to move it a little bit and I go to the wireframe mode do it here again also no I'm going to rotate it here you can see that it is uh, a lot cleaner I, I haven't done the other hole here but uh, it's basically the same procedure but you can see how much uh, this model has cleaned up it's very clean now so that's why I prefer to use the polymesh tool over all the other tools available because it's uh, it's a very powerful tool so um, I hope this was helpful and uh, uh, stay tuned for uh, some more tutorials in the future.